Okay, before you watch this video, you may want to watch my other video called Approximating the Values of Irrational Numbers. It addresses this same standard, but that one explains how you begin to approximate the value. Um, this particular video, we're going to get a little bit better at estimating. We're still estimating because you never get a precise number um, when you're trying to, uh, for instance, oops, why is this not writing? When you're trying to, um, let's say, take the square root of 2, which is a prime number, and that definitely is in an irrational expression, uh, you can't ever find a finite number that you can multiply by itself that equals 2. Um, but what we'll do in this video is estimate the value of expressions with a little bit better accuracy. And um, we'll talk about how we can a little bit more accurately figure out where a value like square root of 2 falls on the number line. Is Would it be closer to 2 or closer to 1? Where approximately along this line would you place that um, value? So let's take a look at... Uh, square root of 5, just to get started. 5, again, is a prime number, and we take the square root of a prime number, you end up with an irrational expression because um, there isn't an integer that you can multiply by itself to accurately get 5. Instead, you would get some decimal expansion that's close to 5, but it's never really going to be 5. But how can we find out that decimal expansion? How could we really estimate or estimate to a particular um, digit after the decimal point. So as I showed in the last video, what I think is important to do is to be thinking about um, what integers times themselves can be um, equally a number that's close to 5. So for instance, 1 times 1, that equals 1, not very close to 5. 2 times 2, so we'll go to the next integer, uh, equals 4. 4 is very close to 5, but let's see what happens if we go to the next integer. 3 times 3, that equals 9. 9 is, has now passed 5, and it's a little bit more past 5 than 4 is before 5. So we know that square root of 5, the value falls in between uh, 4 and, uh, I'm sorry, 2 and 3. So let's write that uh, comparison statement so we can be clear about what is the value of, um, the estimated value of square root of 5. If we have square root of 4, we know that's less than square root of 5 which we know is less than square root of 9. When I go to simplify this, I know that I can take the square root of 4 and get 2 as one of my um, possible solutions. And we're only going to look at positive solutions again in this video. So square root, the positive solution for square root of 4 is 2, which is less than square root of 5. And then the positive um, solution for square root of 9 is 3. So square root of 5 we know falls between 2 and 3. But where does it what what would be a possible decimal expansion that could express uh, square root of five? Um, instead of just simply like I did in the last video showing that square root of five falls somewhere in between two and three on the number line, what we're going to do is we're going to explode this number line. We're going to zoom in on the number line and um, and show exactly well, kind of more precisely. You never exactly, but a little bit more precisely, where might the the point fall on the number line between two and three, to get a more accurate expression. So I'm going to back up, give ourselves some space. We know it's between two and three. That's what we know so far. So, what I can do now is, um, I know three is past square root of 5. So I'm going to go, and it was significantly past uh, square root of 5, so I'm going to go with 2, and I'm going to just take, let's say, 2.2. .2. Now if I multiply 2.2 .2 by itself, what I would get is 2 times 2 is 4, 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 add those up, 4, 8, Four, and I have two digits. That's what point goes there. Four point eight four is what I would get if I multiply two two point two by itself. Four point eight four is closer to five than four was when I just did two times two, but it's still not quite at five. So I wonder what would happen if I did two point three times two point three. 
would I get a decimal value closer to 5 or would it go past 5? And that's the question I'm looking at right now as I multiply this. So 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. If I add those up, 4, 5. Put the decimal value right there. Now I have 5.29. So all I did was just change the value from 2.2. I just upped it by one tenth. And now I have a, a number that's now surpassed square root of 5. So 4.84 and 5.29. They're both pretty much almost like the equal distance from square root of 5 on the number line. So what I'd like to do is figure out if I can find a decimal value a little bit even more closer to square root of 5. So now what I'd be looking at, and I can take either 2.2 or 2.3, well probably 2.2, um, and I'm going to multiply 2.2 1 times 2.21. I've now added a teeny bit more, just a little bit more increment by adding that 1 one hundredths um, to 2.2. And if I multiply this number by itself, would I get a decimal value that's a little bit closer to square root of 5 than 4.84? And just because I don't have a whole lot of room to calculate this um, on the in writing on the pad, what I'm going to do is just do this on the calculator to show you 2.21 times, can you see? Oh, I can. 2.21, that would get me 4.8841. If you look at this 4.84, 4.88 definitely is closer to square root of 5, but only a teeny bit closer. I can continue on this track. What I think I would do next is is I would try 2.25. I'm curious to see what would happen if I did that times 2.25 to see if I can get a number even closer to square root of 5. So I'll try that again on the calculator. Let's see. 2.25 times 2.25 equals 5.06. Now, I've gone a little bit past 5, but it's such a tiny amount. If I wanted to estimate the value of square root of 5, it might be pretty close to say it's 2.25. But now I'm curious, could I get it closer to 5?